What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I have a feeling this video is going to do pretty well and there's going to be a lot of new subscribers here. So, if you're new to the channel or you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that. We're on the way to 70k. Um, over 50% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so what are you doing? Um, get Hit that subscribe button if you're clearly still watching my shit. But uh, this one should be pretty cool, um, as you can tell by the title. Bagging the R34. Um, it's gonna make a lot of people mad. I don't really give a fuck. It's gonna be cool. So let's go over the parts we got for this thing and then we'll get right into it. So like everything air suspension that I do, I'm using Airlift products, Airlift 3H dual compressor, four gallon tank, uh, thank you to Bag Riders for sending this out. And then we have Part Shop Max bags. So this is some custom setup because R34 GTTs are like R33 GTR front and something else in the rear. So they put it together for us. Hopefully it all works out. Let's get started with the management. But before we do that, uh, a company reached out to me and actually sent me something pretty cool that I want to show you guys. Um, so let's look at that. All right, guys. So this is the Moji Pick display. Basically, it's an LED screen that's controllable. So I'm going to turn it on. Right now it's just, oh, there's dominoes. And then we've got, these are all the ones I've programmed. Wear your mask, a shirt face, and if you're passing somebody <clears throat> have a nice car, send them that. Uh, but basically, from the app, you can download a bunch of different ones onto your display. Uh, the first time you do it, it'll take a second to upload, but once they're uploaded, you can do click it and then the eye it'll switch but now let's go look at it installed on the car so it's very simple to install it just has these suction cups and then this bottom one is uh, the one on the right is flexible so that it can taper to your window so basically you just put it on there like that bend it where you need it stick it on it's good to go Normally I put it on my back window, but this is just to show you guys. So it's stuck on there. Let's see if it turns on. And like that, you can drive around with cool things, showing off whatever you want. At night, it's obviously easier to see. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So thank you to Mojipic for sending these. So thank you to Mojipic for sending that out. If you guys are interested in their product, I have everything linked in the description below. And they did offer me a 10% discount code to extend to you guys. If you use code likewise, um, you get 10% off. Pretty cool product. Uh, it's fun to fuck with people in traffic, as you could see from before. So now let's do the management. So like most of my setups, I'm gonna try to retain the spare. And with this one especially, I don't wanna make too many holes because it is an R34. Um, but, so we have that tray right there that's on top of the gas tank, but it kind of goes up. So I don't think I'm gonna do anything with that. But the tank will get mounted up top. Uh, we are removing the rear window wiper. We have a delete coming for that. So that'll get mounted there. Um, maybe I'll put the compressors there. I might just make a small board and set it on top. We'll see But that is the gas tank. So we do have to be a little careful um, So I'm gonna pull those two caps out pull this carpet out and then find a place for the valve block All right, so here's my <clears throat> basic idea. I have another wood board like I did in the Supra It's gonna get wrapped in carpet and I checked there's enough room between the gas tank and the upper layer of metal Where I can run two nut certs to actually bolt this down to the floor. So that won't be a problem um, the Two compressors will sit on that board and then the tank will get mounted up here. So, super clean, and you maintain most of the trunk because that space was basically unusable anyway. So, I wanna turn these compressors sideways so these feet can be moved around. Um, you just unbolt these and you flip them, and then for the head one, you just have to swap the longer bolt to wherever you're putting it. So, we're gonna flip these sideways. So when you do this though, <clears throat> this was bolted on this way, but it won't fit because of this. So when you flip it, you mount it like that. And then these stupid things on the filters are supposed to be if you remote mount them, which if they're inside the car, you'll never do. So just unscrew it. And then it threads in like that. And these are MBT and they're plastic, so don't over tighten them. You'll break it. 
Okay, I'm gonna flip this one and do the other one as well. All right, and that's how these are gonna sit. I test fit it in the car, I just marked my holes. So I'm gonna use those wood inserts I have and then I have isolators. Um, then I'm gonna put like a hole like right here and right here that'll get nuts started to the floor and then I can wrap it in carpet. So let's drill some holes for the inserts. All right, so I got all my holes drilled, cleaned this off. Um, now I'm ready to glue the carpet on. So just um, Super 77, spray it on both pieces, let it dry out a little bit, and then rub it on. So do that. <laughs> And like I said, airlift is always, bag riders actually put their logo on this one, which is kind of cool. And then uh, they had some fun with the controller. I don't know if it'll focus on that, but it's a photo of Randy farting. So that's cool. So we'll get this mounted behind the side panel right over here. Back against that like I always do. And then all the airline can go out this body bit. If you've seen my other videos, you know how I do this. Just mount it there so then the airline can just run straight out nice and easy. Now I have this off so I can start running the wiring to the inside of the car. Um, I'm going to wire, wire it first and then I'll mount the tank up. And I have the nut certs for this in my house, which you can see I drilled out. Um, I'll show you that in a second. But run the wiring and mount the tank. Alright, so I got the tank all ready to go, um, but I have nut certs in my house, so I can't put the compressors in until those go in until I have the nut threads on the floor and then this can't go in until that's done. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but you can see here. So I mounted the water trap to the back side of the tank and the line's gonna go like that. So when it's mounted up, you won't even see it, but it'll be accessible because now they have these new style water traps that aren't self-draining. Um, and then the compressors will tee into there from the center. So I'm gonna loosely put the interior together so I can look at it and then we're gonna pull the suspension out. Excuse the noise, everyone's gambling, but so there you can see the compressors just sit up on that shelf and then I have nut certs at home so I can't pull it down but they're bolted down so that's all sturdy and then the tank will be like that right in front of it you won't even see it So, appears to be the right setup, but the front shock looks really short. Guess we'll put it in and see what happens. That's because I remember the issues we had with the GTR, but I think that was because it was all-wheel drive. I'm gonna start with one front, see how low it goes, make sure it even goes low enough before we pop it and like, put it all in here. Because if it doesn't go low, I don't think we will really put it in right now. We'll have to figure out what we need to do to make it go lower. So, I'm gonna get one out. We'll look at it, the difference between it and the Nismo suspension, and then, uh, Put it in, see what, we'll see what it does. This is substantially shorter, um, but it's all right. So Tommy told us to set these up on 10 clicks because these are their new struts, which have a huge range of adjustment. So I have them set to 10, put this in and see what it does. All right, so I got this installed and it's fully compressed and we don't have enough travel with the shock fully lengthened, which is something we were aware could happen because this is the first time that PBM has built a set for R34s. Um, so I think we need a longer shock. I was talking to Tommy because um, right now I only have like from fully compressed, well, it's not fully compressed, but from where the control arm hits the body to fully extended, I only have two and three quarter inches of travel, which I think the shock should have more than that. Um, I could be wrong. I got to talk to him and find out, but this is as long as I can get it and the control arm is touching the body. So um, we got to determine if we need a longer shock or what the deal is but I might just set it up temporarily like this so I can at least get it on air and then we'll talk to them, figure out what they want us to do for shocks. Um, so I'll probably just do the same thing on the other side, get these both in and then move on to the rear. So the annoying part about these cars is the rear shocks are bolted up under here and they're kind of a bitch to get to, but I got the uppers undone. So now we get to undo the lowers, put the struts in and see if they fit and then uh, Put the shots and see if they fit and 
see if there's anything else we need to do because uh, PBM's already gonna have to send us some different stuff for the front. So if they have to send us stuff, they might as well send us front and rear at the same time. So I'll get these in and we'll see what needs to happen. Well, obviously these aren't the Meisters, but the Meisters look pretty fucking small. This car needs 19s. I would even put 20s on this car, honestly. Um, the 18, the fucking bottom of the wheel was like flat on the ground, uh, but that still looks pretty damn good. So now I'm gonna shave the front so we can see how low this actually goes. Oh God. So there's the 18. Personally, I think it looks really small. This is a pretty big car, and the side skirt will be like completely fucking on the ground, um, which is cool and all, but I think they're a little too small. 19s look better, and 20s would look even better. Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think if you should have 18s, 19s, or 20s. Um, obviously, that doesn't mean it's going to be on any specific wheel. We could build whatever wheels we wanted for this, but as of now, it's on 18 inch Meisters, and I think they're too small. Uh, but let me know what you think down below. Yes, I know I should wear a respirator. Thanks for telling me. No. Fucking titties. That is perfect. That lip, the lip's not even on there, so that shit is gonna be fucking slammed. That's fire. That lip completes it and means that it's going to be too low on 18s. Um, but if you didn't know, he got this lip and it was broken on arrival, so that's why it's in two pieces. But I just have it balancing up there, but fuck, that looks good. This thing's going to look fucking so fire. Well, with that, I'm going to end this video uh, with us starting to bag this car because it'll be a couple days before I get the rest of the parts and uh, I want to edit this and get it up so there'll be another video finishing this when it actually goes on the ground setting up height sensors all that stuff but uh, for now that'll be it thank you for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and I'll see you very soon